Hey everybody, got another box going downtown. Man, that's a tight squeeze over here. I got a... Uh, gotta figure out. Jeez. Man. Let me turn this off before I go crazy. I'm trying to figure out how to fit it in this, this tight squeeze over here. made it all right I'm trying to get the box out of here and uh, get downtown You know, I do this channel so I can actually just to explain why I do this channel. I do this channel to give people uh, information because um, New York is a really rough town to ride a bike, even a even a bicycle. It's not easy in this town. out for blind spots here because what you don't know coming around a corner is the one that kills you because it's, it's just a rough town to ride it a lot of people try riding motorcycles and they give up and uh, I was just doing this channel just to help people get information you know because it's a little difficult to ride here uh, there's a lot of issues and if you came in town even when I was living in Manila for six years and I came back to New York there were certain things that I thought was okay were not okay like for example the the rule in New York before in, you know all the way up to 2015 was if you park your bike you take your plate off because people steal the plates and so you put Velcro, you know, on your license plate and then take it off. And then I arrived from Manila and I was doing the same thing because I thought it was okay. So I had my bike, you know, sitting in the office, you know, all the fuel was drained out of it. It was just uh, ready for me. It was sitting on a tender. It was ready. I just bought fresh gas and uh, I was riding. And then all of a sudden I had my plate off and some and a NYPD officer came up to me and said, what are you doing? Like, He's like, well, are you one of those fuckers with no plate on? And he just started going off on me. And I was like, oh, yo, yo, hold on. I'm, ju I'm just doing this because people steal plates. And he's like, you can't do that anymore. And then I talked to another rider. So now that's that's not okay anymore. You know, bending your plate to avoid those traffic cameras is totally fine. But stupid, you know, here I am saying it on video. It's not, it's not okay. Like, you, you're supposed to your plate visible so forget what i'm saying I'm, you know there's certain things that off record could be said uh, but on record no so i'm gonna go on record and say it's not okay to hide your plate bend your plate so anyway getting back to the point uh there's a lot of things that i didn't know like when i came back like i didn't know when i came back from manila that there's dudes going around late at night with grinders grinders and grinded chains. I thought that wasn't okay downtown. 
And then I saw two guys grinding a chain. I saw two guys grinding a chain in Midtown, and I was like, oh, so that's how it is. And then uh, I come to find out when I asked some other riders, they said it's a, you know, that's what people do. So I was like, holy shit. You know, there's the little things that you just don't know coming into this town. There's things like when you go into LA for the first, when you first move there, riding a bike, you may not know. Like, I didn't know that, the, that in LA, when you go to the airport, LAX, you just go around the parking gate because motorcycles are free. But, you know, until I found that out, give information to people and get back information because that's critical when you're when you're here in New York information is what helps you everybody I mean the world is all about information and that's basically why I started this channel was to help others and then have people help me too with information that I may not know or something I might not be aware of you know some new trend something happening Like now, there's a new trend going on. This is uh, from the coronavirus. My neighbor told me about it. When I was up in Bronx, you gotta be really careful late at night when you ride home. And I did notice it one night when I was coming out of Bronx. There was like two dudes on scooters and another guy on a sport bike. He was a spotter. They're following you. And uh, they're gonna jack your bike. Now, my, tent, my neighbor is a little paranoid. He smokes a lot of weed, but uh, he's cool though. And uh, and sometimes when he's a little paranoid, I I call him out and I'll be like, "You're you're being too paranoid." I thought he was being too paranoid until I had three people following me on two on a scooter and one on a sport bike following me. Then I knew and I confirmed they were following me. So not sure what exactly they were planning to do. I don't know if they're armed. He said they're armed, but I didn't see evidence of that. I did not see evidence of arming. I only saw them following me. They were confirmed that they were absolutely following me. So what they plan to do when they when I stopped, I don't know. I wasn't gonna find out. But that's a, that's a new trend in New York now. People from certain areas will follow you. They'll jack your bike. How they jack it, I don't know. I don't know the details of it, but I, that, those dudes were definitely following me. Because every turn I made, everything I did, they were there, they were all the way to my house. So when I got home, I didn't stop. Because I was like, holy shit, these guys are following me. So I just kept going. And, I, and then I had to drive like a fucking maniac to lose him, which wasn't easy. Because these dudes weren't riding, these guys were riding for keeps, you know? But they were on scooters, so it wasn't easy for them to keep up with me on the XR. The dude on the sport bike was more of a spotter. And I noticed that the guy 